hello everyone welcome to another video in the let's solve tactics series so if you have been watching the series uh, the last couple uh, <laughs> attempts i have not done too well so yeah we left off when i had reached 2253 on the tactics trainer so let's continue um, black to move on this one as you know if you would like to solve them uh, on your own so feel free to pause your videos and uh, try to solve them okay so the first thing that uh, catches my eye is the position of this white king and the fact that he is not castled uh, in terms of material obviously uh, white is ahead by a whole rook so it looks like black probably sacrificed quite a bit of material uh, you know rook and a few pawns um, to get this position and we have to play aggressively here i think so the first move that comes to mind is bishop to b4 check trying to go after the king really uh, so if he blocks with the knight either on c3 let's say then uh, queen d2 check king f1 queen takes f2 would be checkmate okay now after bishop b4 he cannot block with the knight on d2 obviously because i will take so his move is really he's more or less forced to go uh, king to f1 and then i have uh, i think queen to d1 and uh, he's forced to block with his queen at which point queen takes queen will be checkmate so i feel i feel pretty good about that one so let's go ahead and play it okay check check okay so we start off with a uh, good win <laughs> okay black to play let's see what's happening so an end game where i have two pawns against white's knight so i don't have to worry about losing but i i'm sure black is trying to win here and yeah the question is how to do it uh, pawn to h4 is of course the first candidate just trying to run my pawn down the board what happens if i do that uh, he can throw in some checks with his knight knight f2 knight f6 things like that or he can try to bring his king in <laughs> okay um, okay let's uh, start calculating though so if h4 knight let's say f2 check king g3 so okay h4 knight f2 check king g3 let's say to attack the knight uh, do i want to attack it from g3 or h3 that's another good question h4 knight f2 check king f3 so he, he cannot check me on the next move uh, but he may go knight h3 uh, maybe pawn to g4 in that case uh, pawn to g4 does he have like knight to g1 check in any case i'm making progress at least that looks promising so after h4 what if he brings his king in so let's say king d3 h3 why not uh, king e2 h2 knight f2 check king g3 uh, not sure what's happening there wondering if there is any other move that makes sense uh, if i want to stop the knight from going to g3 or f2 i would have to play something like king f3 king f3 he takes my pawn on g5 that definitely does not uh, <laughs> does not inspire confidence uh, why do i have to give up this pawn right away king f4 King f4, knight f2, h4. Hmm. I don't know. Yeah, just thinking about h4 again. 
h4 knight f2 check he also has knight f6 check which i don't think bothers me as much because i can go forward uh, so h4 knight f2 check king g3 if knight back to e4 check i have king g2 and i'm making forward progress um, but after king g2 oh no no he has knight takes g5 but pawn h2 and i win i believe okay mm, h4 knight f2 king g3 knight h1 check so h4 knight f2 check king g3 knight h1 check king g2 and the knight is trapped i like h4 and i don't think honestly if it is not correct i don't think i'll figure out the right solution for this problem so i'm gonna play it okay so far so good okay so now he didn't play knight f2 i wonder if there is any merit in me trying to stop him from being able to do that or should i just continue pushing let's see so if i push oops sorry if i push what does he do he can bring his king or move his knight if he brings his king let's say i push again now he has to play knight f2 hmm he would like to go king f1 next okay so if i go king g3 king f1 and i'm really not making progress okay uh, or maybe i am with pushing my g pawn hmm okay another moment where i have to think if h3 knight f2 check i don't think bothers me as much h3 king e2 h2 knight f2 check king g3 king f1 pawn to g4 knight h1 check king goes to h3 yeah i don't know if i'm winning that one so if he manages to get his knight into the corner and so if his knight reaches h1 and his king reaches like f1 i feel or f1 or f2 rather something like this king reaches f1 f2 um, i feel he has he is doing pretty well but how do i stop him from reaching that setup to stop knight f2 i'll have to do this king f3 but then he takes my pawn that definitely looks wrong i cannot even push my other pawn i'm gonna push because i don't see anything better okay so king e2 as expected now the only move more or less that makes sense is to push forward if i move my king then knight f2 i don't know if it makes any sense i'm gonna push okay Maybe now is the question where to move to. Hmm. King g3 is obvious. Uh, he goes king f1 maybe. Or if knight e4 check, of course, king g2. So king g3, king f1, g4. Maybe it's uh, then knight h1. Knight h3, king h4, king h4, king g2. Hmm. So king h3, knight f2 check back. King goes to h4 then. Not sure. Okay. So my choices are I can go g3, f4, h4, or back. Uh, h4 or g3 are correct i feel uh, if i go to h4 he goes king f3 maybe king f3 i can throw in my pawn g4 check king goes to g2 pawn to g3 knight h1 King h3. Hmm. That may be okay. I don't know. King g3, knight h1 check. 
no he doesn't play knight h1 if king g3 he goes king f1 i feel um then what do i do do i just push my pawn Really, I feel the next <laughs> progress to make further progress to win this. I have to push my g-pawn up to g3 so that the knight cannot sit on f2 anymore. Uh, king h4, king f3, g4 check. So king h4, king f3, g4 check. The point is if he takes my pawn, then I promote with check so now he goes king to g2 <laughs> he's about to bring his king to h1 if he even wants uh pawn to g3 if knight h1 then king h3 I feel he might be stuck in some bad place there. King g3, king f1. What am I doing? What am I doing? Pawn g4. Yeah, really not sure what's the difference between h4 and g3. Uh, after king h4, what else can he do? King f3 is possible. After king g3, king f3 is not possible. King f1 is possible in both cases. I'm going to go forward, but really there is no calculation blacking it up. Okay, this move is obvious, I think. Okay, now the question is if I promote, am I winning that pawn endgame? So if I promote, he takes, I take. Uh, yeah, I promote, he takes, I take. Then he goes king f3. I go king h2, he goes king g4, and he wins my pawn. So I cannot promote. I should push this pawn. Okay, and now I should promote, I believe. He has 93 check, but I can move my king, let's say, to h3 or something. Okay, that is correct, but I really <laughs> did not feel too good about that. I didn't know what was the difference. Like, is king g3 forced? Okay, king g3 is winning. Why is this a draw? Oh my goodness, this is a draw. Why? I thought g4 check. King g2. I thought g3. Knight h1. And now, I'm not able to make progress and he's threatening to take this guy. Okay. So that's the difference. After king g3, right here, after the check. Knight h1 check. Basically, uh, he's not able to control this g3 square enough, and I'm able to push forward. So, if he just waits with his king, how do I win? I take his knight, obviously. Okay, fine. <laughs> okay, well, let's continue. Okay, um, black to play. So, white just played f4, attacked my queen. But the first thing I notice is this. Uh, my bishop looking at his king. So there are discoveries available. Hmm, I think I see something. I see something very nice. But the question is how to make it work. So my idea that I saw is knight e2 check, double check. So he has to play king h1. Oh, it works, yeah. So knight g3 check then. Uh, now he has to take with the pawn. Now I go queen h6 check. And because the bishop on c5 guards this uh, g1 square, he has to block with his queen. I take his queen. Yeah, that looks great. Check, check, check. Mate. Okay, we got a lot of points. <laughs> Let's continue. Okay, rook against pawns, and we don't have the rook. White to play. So we only have pawns. The first obvious move is to play this, uh, but then he goes here. And then what do I do? I could let him take or 
well i have to let him take okay yeah, i could push this he takes here uh i could push this i don't know what he does maybe brings his king not sure so i think it's gonna be a problem where we use this fact that uh, a rook is not effective against two pawns on the uh sixth rank two connected pass pawns that is uh, okay so i need connected pass pawns to make that concept work b4 right now he will take most probably and then if i push e either pawn okay if i push a3 what does he do he goes let's say rook a4 i push c2 oh oh wow that's actually interesting I push c2 he cannot take my pawn so he goes rook c4 i push a2 now i have pawns on c2 and a2 and he cannot defend both wow does that work b4 rook takes b4 a3 if rook a4 then c2 if rook takes pawn then i promote if rook c4 now then a2 okay so after b4 he cannot take the pawn what else can he do can he go like rook c8 then i may go a3 anyway a3 right away on the first move i don't know if it's correct if he takes i go a2 if he goes rook a5 i go c2 uh, a3 he goes rook a uh, 8 maybe then I go b4 hmm not sure not sure he can also move his king as long as unless I'm threatening to promote in some way so okay if I play b4 he moves his king let's say because I'm not threatening to promote yet uh, okay then if I go c2 he can go king d2 then i go b3 uh, he can go king c1 and i'm definitely not winning that one i don't think uh, okay hmm. c2 rook c8 is forced so that is forcing now if a3 a3 if he takes my pawn on c2 then maybe b4 mm, b4 rook c4 a3 rook takes b4 a2 rook a1 a4 that doesn't work okay so c2 rook c2 uh, b4 didn't work right or a3 didn't work b4 rook takes c2 b3 oops uh, b3 uh, what is he doing rook a4 a3 hmm. I'm torn between b4 and c2 so not sure c2 is very forcing so I like that it's forcing it really forces his hand and he has to play rook f1 sorry I kept saying c2 it I mean f7 I'm sorry about that so f7 uh, rook f1 okay now promoting doesn't make any sense I think I should push my other pawns so b4 uh, for him it makes sense to just take i think so rook takes c2 now b3 attacking the rook making him decide what he wants to do if he goes passive rook uh, uh, f8 i go h6 uh, now we have the situation where two connected pass pawns on the sixth rank uh, will beat the rook hopefully but if i go b4 on the first move why does that not work if he takes i believe it works 
because then I have a3 and now does it work king e king c2 a2 rook a4 c2 king d2 doesn't work okay okay so c2 it is oh incorrect okay <laughs> so what is the right answer i'm not gonna try i'm just gonna see it okay a3 a2 okay Okay, I'm not going to try and figure this out why it was. It's really looked complicated. So I'm going to just keep keep going. Okay, white to play. Okay, so white to play. Uh, this one I think is uh, pretty simple. Queens are facing each other. I can remove the king from defending the queen and I take the queen. And he takes here. Why does it continue? Maybe I take back and it's good. We got our 10 points right back. Okay, let's continue. White to move. Okay. Mm. Uh, so the rook is looking at the knight, which is protected only by the king. Uh, so knight f4 check comes to mind. Knight f4 check. He has to go to. Uh, d6 to hold on to the knight and then I have oh I have some tricks here yeah. rook takes knight king takes rook knight g6 forking the king and rook and winning so I'm gonna go with that now I take the point also is this h3 square is guarded by my knight so he doesn't have any checks to mess it up too badly okay okay let's keep going black to move hmm. so obviously the first thing i don't care about this bishop i see that i have queen takes a3 check and there is in general pressure around his king so queen takes a3 check forces king to b1 oh uh, this is nice okay then i'm going to take on b3 using this pin but the question is what am i going to take uh, so wait a second Okay, so queen takes a3 check, king b1. Now, if rook takes b3 check, uh, he could go king a1 or he can go... Uh, oh, king a1, I have queen b2 mate. Okay, so rook takes b3 check, bishop takes b3. Uh, bishop takes b3. If queen takes b3 check, king a1 i have rook to a8 mate if after queen takes b3 check king c1 then i have queen a3 king b1 rook b8 okay this looks good yeah this looks good i'm gonna play this check now using this pin check here check here check back and next move i was gonna go rook to f b8 and he has to he loses queen at least and probably get mated because he has to block with his knight or something i'll take he'll take back i'll take back and the game goes on okay let's continue white to play uh, hmm. again a situation with a little bit exposed king so <laughs> coming off of the previous problem i'm looking at rook takes uh, f6 check uh, i would assume he has to take and then rook f1 check now he cannot stay guarding his rook i don't think he has to go to g6 or g5 or something and then i could take his uh, Hmm. Let's let's be thorough here. Okay, rook takes f6 check, king takes f6, rook f1 check. Now, what are his options? He has options to go to g6 or g7 or g5 or e5. Okay, so let's look at uh, the dumbest one. 
<laughs> so if he goes to e5, I can take the, this rook first, e7 on che with check, and then I can take the other rook. That's game over. So if he goes to uh, if he goes to g6 after rook f1, then then maybe hmm, maybe queen d6 check. Uh, with the idea that uh, I'm not sure if I take just the if I just take the rook on e7, let's say after king g6, he goes queen takes e3 check is my problem. And then my rook on f1 is hanging. So rook takes take check here. Um, wait a second. I also have queen g4. Does that do anything? Queen g4 check. Uh, that forces him to go to the h file. Okay. Mm -hmm. So he goes to, let's say, h7. Why not? And then I can take on f8 at least. I feel pretty good. So I'm going to start with this one. Boom. Boom. Now, yeah, he of course plays the best move. <laughs> now, queen d6 or queen g4 check. If queen or take the rook on e7. Take the rook on e7 is out because then. Oh, wait a second. I could take because queen e3 is covered. I didn't realize this earlier. So if, if I take, he can take here on f1. I take back. Does he have any checks? Maybe queen b5. I go back, slide back into the to g1. And that's all right, but let's examine queen g4 check. Queen g4 check, let's say king to h6. Hmm. Uh, if queen h4 check, let's say king to g6 back. Uh, I can always take on e7. I don't know why it's any better, this. Queen g4 check, queen king h6. I don't know what I'm doing. Hmm. If I take on f8 now, then he definitely takes on e3. Queen d6 check. Uh, he goes, let's say, here to uh, h5. Do I have anything special? I don't think I have any checks. So if I don't have checks, then why do I need to do all this stuff? I feel I should just take on e7. Maybe I'm wrong. We'll see. Yep, I'm wrong. But I got one point. So let's look at the solution. Okay. Okay, queen d6 it is. G4, oh my goodness. Wow, what is so I can take both rooks? Wow, how does that work? I'm gonna analyze this. Uh, queen d6 check, king h5. If he goes to h7, then I take this with check. That makes sense. If he goes to g5, I take this with check. Ah, I should have looked at it deeper. And here, I, I just missed g4 check, I mean, which shouldn't have been missed. It's pretty easy. Okay, that's okay. We get it wrong, but we get one point. So let's continue. Black to move. My rook is attacked. He has an extra bishop, but an open king. Okay. Uh, rook d2 check is possible. And hmm, that looks interesting. So his options. Blocking with the rook doesn't make any sense. I will take. So his options really are uh, to go to f1 or g1 or h1. h1, there is an instant mate with queen h2. So that's out. So not h1. So he goes to f1 or g1. g1 also, it's going to be mate with queen takes pawn check and queen f2. So that's also out. So he goes to f1. So he goes to f1. Now I think queen f3 check, 
and now uh, if he goes to e1 it's queen f2 and if he goes to g1 it's mate okay so rook d2 check pretty certain this works check and mate okay let's continue white to play <laughs> so just seeing if there are any patterns i notice uh, i notice my bishops kind of lining up at the king <laughs> e5 kind of really appeals to me in a game i would probably play it the point is to open up this bishop and uh, create an attack on the king side so if e5 he is knight I think has to move and then he has to go to either d7, e8 or d5. Uh, mm -hmm. So if he goes to any of these, I have bishop takes h7 check, king takes h7, queen h5 check, king back to g8 and then knight g5 uh, threatening mate on h7. And he'll have to give up his queen. I feel pretty good. I'm gonna play it now. I don't think queen h5 right away because of g6. So take here, check here, threaten mate, and take the queen, and then take this one. Okay, we made it above 2300, and I'm gonna call this one good. <laughs> Thank you so much for watching. If you followed it this far, uh, give it a thumbs up if you liked it. Comment below, subscribe to the channel, all that jazz, and I'll see you in the next video. Thank you. Bye, guys.